Hello, HMS. Welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, me, Eve Weatherhead. After a pretty severe break, Mr. Keller is bringing back action with another Minute with the Principal. Good morning. We're joined this morning by some of the members of the HMS Herald. If you haven't yet noticed, the HMS Herald is our brand new newspaper, and we're now two issues into the school year. Ms. Broberg and uh, Karen are not here, but we're joined today by Hussein, Cameron, and Cameron. Thanks for being here. Um, so I have a couple quick questions, and I wanted to ask, uh, how did all of this get started? Well, Karen, she started this club with Mrs. Broberg, and we just really liked the idea of it, so we joined. Fabulous. And what are some of the things that goes in? What is the work that goes into creating this on a monthly basis? Well, it's kind of hard because sometimes we're not all at the meeting. So we have a meeting every Friday. Sometimes we call emergency meetings if we're getting close to the deadline. And we go to different events, like um, our latest issue was about the HMS Carnival for the sixth grade. Um, and we do some issues about what happened back when the teachers first started here and basically we all just kind of work together plan ideas and figure out what goes into the newspaper best fabulous and so can you give us a preview of what's to come in March uh, so basically we uh, um, it's gonna be kind of focused on sports in the next issue we'll um, we'll have a March Madness crossword puzzle we'll also be covering both the homeroom challenge and also the students versus staff basketball game so it'll be pretty interesting Fabulous. Thanks for outstanding work and something that we really look forward to each month. What does Miss Passyard, Mr. Paquette, and Miss Grady's daughter, Miss Bien, have in common? They're all running the Boston Marathon. Who are you fundraising for and how much do you need to raise? The Desire to Inspire Foundation and I need to raise $5,000. Kathleen is running for the Hopkinton Police Association, and she has to raise $5,000. I'm running for the Skies and Limit Courtyard, and I also need to raise $5,000. Why are you having a movie night? Well, it's a fun night out for all of the students, and all of the proceeds will go directly toward the fun our fundraising efforts. It is $5 ahead of time or $6 at the door to purchase a ticket. Um, you can pick up your permission slip from guidance and return it to the guidance office. We chose the movie Wonder because Wonder is a really inspiring movie. It shows how hard work and determination can bring success. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next Friday night. Sadly, that way long interview didn't fit our show. So watch the whole interview online. Check out their stories and help them reach their goals by visiting our website. You'll find their links and web pages at hcam.tv slash HMS TV. And now let's spend a minute with another middle school club, the GSA. Hi, we're from GSA. GSA stands for Gay Straight Alliance. GSA is a club where supporters and members of the LGBTQ plus community come together to talk about issues, future projects, and anything related to improving the stigma around being gay, lesbian, trans, and many more. Sometimes we do crafts and sometimes we do games. It's completely fine to be straight and still come to GSA. GSA does not only mean gay, lesbian, or trans. You can be a supporter too. GSA is every Thursday after school in the health room. Thank you for listening. We hope to see you there. Very nice. You'll find their videos and lots of other clubs on our website. So if you're looking for something to do, check them out. Our last segment is the magnificent return of Fun Fact Friday. Take it away, Mr. Rockwood. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that on this date in history, on March 2nd, 1897, President Grover Cleveland vetoed a bill that would have required all immigrants to take a literacy test. Also, on Saturday, March 3rd, in 1847, Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor, was born. Imagine where we'd be today without our telephones. Also, on Sunday, March 4th, during his inaugural address, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt uttered the words, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day and be kind to one another. Nice job, Mr. Rockwood the Gray. We've missed you. Now, it looks like it's time for the birthday scroll.
Happy birthdays. Now, here's a picture of somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? Send us an email by next Wednesday morning and you'll get a chance to win a candy-filled water bottle. That's it for today. So find all of our content out at our website and send suggestions, comments, and HYST entries to HMSCB at hillers.org. And don't send me hate mail about question of the day. We had no more room. Look for today's question on our website. It's brand new. Until next week, study hard. Best it in inter intervent. I hesitated <laughs> at the Benjamin Franklin Castor School. Oh, these words! That was awesome. What's the great thing, or is that the next thing? <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get a chance to fill the candy wheel, a chance to win a fandy, a fandy wheel. <laughs>